In this video, we are looking at some of the common addition errors that children make. Not understanding the value that a digit represents in addition and subtraction problems is a common misconception. A great way to teach place value is to use the errors children make as teaching opportunities. You can do this by sharing some fictitious errors and discussing them together. Explain to the children that you are going to show them five different addition sums and it is their job to be the teacher and mark them. Can they help you to understand what is happening in each sum? In this example, the pupil has not understood that the position of the digit determines its value. The five has been placed in the tens column instead of the ones column. In this example, the pupil has not understood that the position of a digit determines its value. In other words, that the 17 is equal to 1, 10 and 7 ones. Because of this, the pupil has added an additional hundreds column. In this example, the pupil has not understood that the position of a digit determines its value. The pupil has reversed the tens and ones digits when carrying, carrying over two tens and one unit instead of one ten and two units. In this example, the pupil has not understood that the hundreds column exists and so has failed to write the additional column and number. In this example, the pupil has reversed the tens and hundreds digit when writing the answer. Take a moment to explore each of these misconceptions in greater detail and pause on each one for a longer period so that children get to understand them. Explain that in all of these examples the pupil does not understand the concept of place value. Choose one of the misconception errors and set a few examples for children to try by themselves so they can practice getting the right answer rather than repeating the misconception.